Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards who's coming toward you in regards to love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me who's coming towards Capricorn in regards to love. Capricorn. Who's coming towards Capricorn in regards to love? First card we have Three of Pentacles in reverse. We also have the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. All right. Let's see what's going on. This is someone who feels like you let them go, like you've let them go. Hmm. I'm getting guilt associated with this person's energy. Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Male or female, doesn't have to be a woman, could be a man. Could be a water sign also for some of you. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But yeah, I feel like this is someone who feels guilty about something they did or something that they said that they know hurt you and disappointed you. Um, and they feel like you've let them go. Is what I'm getting. Hmm. All right. Let's do a little clarification to get more information. Tell me about this Queen of Cups, spirit, please. Clarify the Queen of Cups. In regards to who's coming towards Capricorn. So we have the lovers. This person feels a very strong, intense soulmate connection with you. We also have the star. Uh, they're wishing, they're wishing for you to to get back together. That's their wish with the star card. And we also have the king of swords. I feel like this is the way they view you. I feel like uh, male or female, this person views you as someone who might potentially be upset with them or angry with them. They view you as someone who has put up boundaries. You've put up... Um, restrictions, you've blocked them or you've closed off to them. Um, you're not emotional with them. You don't, you're not giving them any of, of your emotions. On the contrary, they feel like you're giving them the cold shoulder. Or like you've been You've been detached from them and disconnected from them. Okay, what, let's take a look at what this person wants with you and why they're coming towards you exactly. Let's take a look at that. Spirit angels, uh, spirit angels and guys, why is this person coming towards Capricorn, please? Why is this person coming towards Capricorn? What does this person want with Capricorn? So we have Temperance. We also have Ten of Swords. The Page of Pentacles. Wow. And we also have the Seven of Wands. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so what they want with you is pretty simple and straightforward here. Um, they definitely want to make amends with you, 
with temperance in reverse and the page of pentacles. They want to apologize. They want to um, redeem themselves with you. They want to regain your trust. They want to heal the relationship with you. They want to make amends. They want to make things right with you. They want to get back together. So there's a lot of guilt here. This person has a lot of guilt and a lot of remorse over the past, over whatever happened between the two of you, between the two of you in the past. I want to take a look at your feelings. Actually, let me look into the Page of Pentacles just to see if there is something more. You know, it kind of looks like this person didn't really give you their love when they had you. When they were connecting with you or when you two were in a relationship with each other, it kind of looks like this person was very emotionally unavailable and emotionally closed off. And now that you're not in the picture anymore, now that you're gone, um, they miss you. They miss you. They want to be back together with you and they want to give you the love and the appreciation that they didn't give you in the past. It kind of looks like the tables have turned. The tables have turned. Now you're the one that's cold. Now you're the one that's emotionally unavailable and closed off. You know, now you're the one that's that doesn't want them or that's pushing them away or that's making them feel rejected. So I feel like the tables have turned. All right. Tell me about this uh, Page of Pentacles energy spirit in regards to why they're coming towards Capricorn. So we have Six of Pentacles. We also have the Empress with the Page of Wands. Jeez. Three of Pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, this person is viewing you as the Empress, male or female. So it kind of looks like this person is now recognizing your worth. Now that they've been um, experiencing your absence in their life, um, they now see and recognize how valuable you are and how important you are to them and how, how much they, they want you and how much they want this relationship with you. And they want to work things out with you with the Page of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Um, they want to do things differently. They want to redeem themselves. They want you to give them that opportunity to to show you that they can change and that things can be better between the two of you. And that they're going to put in the work and the effort to create a, a balanced and healthy relationship with you. I want to say a fair relationship as well with the Six of Pentacles. They feel like before things were very one-sided and very unbalanced and unfair and they want to change that. They want things to they want to they want to create fairness or they want to be a fair person now. With you. Hmm. Okay. Kind of interested to see how you feel, Capricorn. So let's take a look at that. What cards do I want to use? Okay, I'll use these cards. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what are Capricorn's current feelings for this person that's coming towards them? Or what are Capricorn's feelings for this person that's coming towards them whenever it is that whenever it is that this person shows up it's going to be different for all of you 
you all have different timelines. What are Capricorn's feelings for this person? So we have the Queen of Cups. We also have the Two of Cups with the King of Wands and also the, uh -huh, the Two of Swords. Mm -hmm. Seven of Cups is at the bottom. Page of Cups, interesting, with the Two of Pentacles. Wow. The Tower and the Ten of Wands with the Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, so this is someone who you did have a lot of love for. Um, that's obvious here. Seven of Cups and the Page of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Uh, this is someone who you definitely um, had a lot of love for with the Two of Cups. Um, a lot of deep love, a lot of strong love for them. Um, it kind of looks like you were very emotionally invested in this relationship with them when you were with them. But because they did whatever it is that they did to you here with the Tower card, they broke your trust and with the Two of Swords, you don't, uh, you don't trust them. And here they are coming towards you with this apology energy, with this energy of wanting to fix things with you and make things right with you. And you're questioning with the Seven of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, you're questioning how, how truthful this person is being with you. How honest are they being with you? Um, because again, with the Two of Swords, it just kind of looks like your experience with this person in the past has been very negative and what they've shown you in the past is that they're not trustworthy they're not reliable they're not consistent um they sorry about i don't know somebody has a car alarm outside so yeah you can't trust them so you really don't know what to make of this apology you don't really know what to make of this communication here coming from them um Because you can only go by what you've already seen from them, you know? And like I said, what you've seen from them has not been good. So there's no reason for you to think that this person is being honest this time when they were never honest with you in the past. However, could it be that they've changed? Maybe, and I feel like that's why you're questioning here with the Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles, please, and Capricorn's feelings. You're kind of questioning, should I, should I give this person the opportunity to regain my trust? Should I give this person the opportunity to prove themselves to, to me or not? Yeah, there we go, Knight of Pentacles. All right. Tell me about the King of Wands. Eight of Swords. Ooh, Jesus, yikes. Mm, Eight of Swords and the King of Cups, yikes. This is a tricky situation for you. Um, again, with the King of Cups, now we have a true pair here. King and Queen of Cups, which means, again, there's a lot of love here between you and this person, or there was a lot of love between you and, between you and this person. Um, and with the Eight of Swords, it just kind of looks like you feel a little bit torn. You feel a little bit conflicted because it almost looks like you had buried already your your emotions and your feelings for this person. It kind of looks like you you had already dealt with it, like you you had already put it behind you. And now that this person's kind of reinserting themselves in your life it's like your feelings for them are coming back up to the surface and it's messing with your mind you know with it's it's kind of it's kind of making you feel doubtful about what you should do moving forward 
It's making you second guess yourself. Tell me about the Two of Swords. The Star, the Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Well, you want to believe. You want to believe that this person is being honest with you and that they really have changed. But a part of you feels like that might not be true. They might just be, you know, tricking you or manipulating you or, you know, blindfolding you. Or your emotions might just be blindfolding you in this, in this situation. So you're definitely doing a lot of thinking here. You definitely don't want to make the same mistake twice. So you're taking your time to really um, analyze the situation. Evaluate the situation here. All right, what's going to happen? Let's see the outcome. Here we go. Let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what what is the outcome going to be between Capricorn and this person? That's coming towards Capricorn. How are things going to play out between them moving forward into the future? All right. First card we have for the outcome is the Emperor. We also have the Knight of Wands in the outcome and the Chariots. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. You're overpowering the reading. Okay. Ace of Swords to the Ace of Cups in reverse to the Sun in reverse. Whoa, look at that. I want to look at this. I definitely want to look at this. Look at that. So a decision is being made here with the Ace of Swords. Um, I'm going to clarify, but it doesn't look like it's a favorable decision for this person that you're dealing with. Because we have the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Sun in reverse. So it doesn't look like things are going to work out for this person in, in their favor. Because what they want is a new beginning with you. Um, and they want to be happy again with you, with the sun in reverse. But this tells me that they're going to be unhappy with the outcome because there is going to be no, no new beginning because that's your decision with the Ace of Swords, you know, in the end. Hmm. You did think about it. We do have the Two of Wands. You did think about it. But kind of looks like this time around, it's a no-go. All right, I want to clarify just to confirm. Let's look at the Ace of Swords. Spirit, tell me about the Ace of Swords, please. In regards to the outcome here. Wow. Wow. Okay, tower, tower clarifying the, the Ace of Swords. All right, let me not say anything yet. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. Page of Wands to the Eight of Pentacles to the Wheel of Fortune. Mm, no, 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 no. I don't think this is going to happen, no. Page of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. This is them trying to work things out with you. Wheel, Wheel of Fortune, this is them trying to start over again with you. But again, with the Tower card, I'm going to have to say no. Looks like your decision is to not revisit this situation, this relationship, again. So, this feels like the song. Who sings that song? Um, 
It's too late to apologize. I don't know who sings that song. I, is it like uh, Justin Timberlake, maybe? I'm not completely sure. But I, I'm, I'm getting that energy of it's, it's, too, it's too little too late to apologize. Too little too late to apologize. Mm -hmm. All right, but let me do a little bit. Let me look for a little bit more confirmation. With your energy, you're showing up as a double emperor. That's impressive. That's, a, that's a really impressive. Male or female, does it matter the gender? Uh, person in the chariot card is the emperor, so we have double emperor energy here. So you're not messing around anymore. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, but there's something about you not messing around anymore. You're not playing games anymore. Okay, let me clarify that. Tell me about this Emperor and Chariot spirit. You're not messing around or you're not playing around. You're not gonna waste your time. What does that mean? Oh my God. Emperor again. Now we have triple emperor energy. What is going on? Three times emperor? Again, male or female, you could be a woman. Does it have to be a man? What in the world? So you're leveling up. I feel like that is what this means. Like you, you're leveling up in a really big way and this person can't, be with you because uh, because they're they're not at your level anymore. You don't resonate with them anymore. It's almost like you've grown or you've evolved. You're not who you used to be. You're better than who you used to be, and that's why you you don't. You don't really resonate with this person anymore the way you used to resonate with them. Jeez. Knight of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles to the Eight of Wands. What is the Knight of Swords about, Spirit? Or is that their energy? Five of Cups to the Six of Pentacles and the okay, Queen of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Wow. Mm, I see. Okay. Yeah, this person, this person's not at your level anymore. The Queen of Wands here. So yeah, this person is like they're they're still stuck in the same energy that they used to be stuck in, like or they're still the same person that they used to be. There's not there hasn't been any real growth um, in them. All except for them recognizing that they should have treated you better and that, you know, they made a mistake. Apart from that, it kind of looks like they're pretty much the same person, though. It's like you know it. I mean, the emperor is very intuitive, so it's, it's kind of like you know it. You know very well that this person is the same, like intuitively. So... This attempt that they're making in your direction, it's just not going to work out. You're not, in, you're not as easily influenced as you were before. There's something about you not falling for the games anymore. You're not falling for the games anymore. All right, what is the Knight of Wands? Some of you are, going, are doing really well in your career or you're going to be doing really well in your career. There's something about you elevating and upgrading and uh, leveling up. Yeah, like you have a better financial situation than you did before. Um, you're moving forward in your work or in your career or in your goals. You're a stranger, basically. It's like you're... You're basically a complete stranger to them now. Because you've, you've done so much change that you're just, 
at this point you're like a stranger. They don't they don't really know you anymore. Uh, temperance to the five of wands to the ten of pentacles page of swords temperance to the five of wands to the ten of pentacles and the page of swords yeah you also know what you want and what you don't want is also what i'm getting like Maybe before in the past, you used to be a little bit um, unsure or indecisive. Um, you weren't 100% clear on, on what you were looking for or what you truly wanted for yourself. But I feel like now it's different. Now you know exactly what you want and what exactly what is good for you and, what, and what's not good for you. Again, it's like you've learned, you've leveled up, you've matured, you've, you've become more wiser. So I feel like you're going to easily walk away from this person. And it might leave them shocked because I feel like this person is going to be shocked or surprised. They're not, they're not going to expect that from you. Okay. So Capricorn, that's what I have for you. I hope this reading helped you in some way. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.